Hello guys, in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how you can create a bounding box just like this. So what is a bounding box? A bounding box is a simple box which has the informations like the height, depth and width. This information is going to be very crucial when we are creating a very accurate 3D model. So let's go ahead and start the video. So right now I am in the blender and as you can see that I have a reference image loaded up. Now, this image has all the information to it like the height, the width and the depth information. Now we are going to create a bounding box. So let us go ahead and create a bounding box. I am going to create using a cube and then what I am going to do is I am going to select all the face of this cube and I am going to hold the control key and I am going to pull this to the top and make sure it snaps to the grid. This is a very important step when you're creating a bounding box. Next, I'm going to select the cube and then I'm going to go to the object properties and go to the viewport display right here. And then I'm going to scroll down till I find displayed as tab. Now in here, I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on bounce. And this will immediately make our box as a bounding box. We can see that in the item tab, we have this properties of this dimension as X, Y and Z. Okay, these are the information for our height, depth and width. Now, if I go ahead and play around with this, you can understand which is what. So the Z is height, the X is width and the Y is depth. So let us go ahead and assign these dimensions. So I'm going to assign 34.3 inches for the height and make sure you type inch because this is in inches as the symbol shows. So hit right inches and hit enter and you can see that the dimension changes in the viewport. So I'm going to go ahead and write for the width right here. So the width is the X. So I'm going to select the X and I'm going to write 30.3. So I'm going to press 30.3 and I'm going to write inches again and I'm going to hit enter. Next I'm going to go the next I'm going to go for the depth and that is the Y. So it is 29.9 and inches Then I'm going to hit enter. Now you can see that we have successfully created our bounding box with the dimension that we seen in the reference image. I hope you like this video. If you did like, go ahead and hit a like and subscribe to this channel for more such content. Thank you and have a nice day.